Hello, this is not a spring chicken. This is our vlog day two on our Indiegogo campaign. Now, if some of you are not familiar with Indiegogo, it is a platform for you to go ahead and do crowdfunding. There are a handful of companies, actually, there's quite a few companies that are all popping up and people are trying it, you know, from all different places. So, here's the question is, does crowdfunding work? Well, hopefully you can learn from our experiences. This is our day two. And here's the great part is they give you a dashboard that tells you what's going on. So we, I've sat there and thought about it. It's like, okay, between our reach and some others, like there's Twitter reach and Facebook reach. I know. We're in the millions. <laughs> our reach is literally in the millions. It, it is. But part, of, I know like some of the friends, my direct reach, which is who they directly tweet to, not how far it reaches afterwards. Is very, very large. I think, yeah. It, it, it's still larger than normal. No, the, it's lar um, far larger than the normal people that would have that would be trying it, crowdfunding. Yeah, and the reason I'm going to say that is some of my friends that have pulled some of these are um, one of them does social media marketing, so she has a large group. Another one is a celebrity who has a large group. Another one is a philanthropist that gets paid for the tweets, right? Yeah, we also have our link ends to these things, yes, and they're they're not going anywhere because they're all trying to find money also. Mm -hmm. And so, and then I just joined a thing for crowdfunding, right? So crowdfunding, social media, marketing, entertainment. So our reach compared to others, I would say, is probably a lot larger. It's not as large as say somebody that has like a hundred thousand followers that follow them all the time, plus all their, you know, I mean, the direct followers. Um, you know, like Ashton Kutcher, right? He has in the hundreds of millions. Yeah, but the right? thing that, that what happens in a situation like that is that things go scroll down so fast that nobody ever mm -hmm. gets to read them. Mm -hmm. So, part of it is we have a little bit of a of an advantage, okay, because of the friends, and the campaign we have is not it's not you know it's a couple weeks. It's not really long. It's not. I guess is it short? I don't know. It's. Well, no, I mean, we're, it's we're not gotta, 30 days. It's, no, it's, it's but basically, like 10 days. here's the trick is what we understand is that the bulk of, uh, uh, like one third of what you will get is within the first two days. So therefore, the longer you extend the campaign, the more effort it takes you to get for mm -hmm. dwindling resources. That's right, which means it's something that for a campaign to be successful, there's a couple things that they said is that you have to pay attention to it on a daily basis. So some of the stuff that we read is that 30% of the money that you receive in crowdfunding comes in the first couple days. That's 30% comes in a couple days. Yeah, and about one third of the money you get is from your family and friends. Yeah, so it's like if all your family and friends donated the first couple days, right? And so we're on day two. So if we took our $100 contribution and counted that the first couple days, it's, we don't, it was a total. we'd get like $300. <laughs> Which is bad mm -hmm. and horrible. And if you think, well, for the amount of effort you put into it, is it worth it? Well, it depends on what you're looking at. I'll give you an idea because we're looking at the dashboard. These are the, the direct statistics that come off of it. So in, we're in day two, okay? Um, visitors, we've had 39, 72 views, one funder, $100 contribution, two favorites, and 137 referrals. Now, the referrals are the number of visits that result from someone sharing your campaign using widgets, Facebook, Twitter, and emails. Okay? So, you're going, yeah, because if you share it once, that counts as one share. It doesn't tell you how many people are in there, but and, it counts as one but share. But it's reality, it's good, especially when you add to it that we've had over 80 views on the, uh, on the direct web page. On the direct web page. So, and uh, people reading the same thing that aren't going to the mm -hmm. crowdfunding page because the same the same mm -hmm. material is available in multiple spots, mm -hmm. but it's it's the the <laughs> it's worse. Our return is worse than if we were doing a junk mail campaign. Right, because junk mail statistically they would said you'd have a two to three percent return on yeah junk mail that you receive in your mailbox, right? Yeah. It's two to three percent. So well, I'm we, looking at we, seventy two views. And uh, eighty on the uh, figure eighty on the other mm -hmm. side, that's that that percentage is horrible. Yeah. So we're sitting there thinking, okay, so what do we need to do to make it work? Now we've seen some th people that said, 
oh, well, you know what's great about the campaign is it helped me get a lot of followers. Okay, if that's what your objective was. <laughs> okay, that's great. That's looking on the right side. I've seen some campaigns. But we don't need followers. We got um, followers. <laughs> where they're like, well, you know, we got that money that we didn't have before. Yeah, but you spent all that, invested all that time creating that campaign to bring out. Well, now, if you've already had the assets, and we're, you're going, what, the assets? Yeah, you've already kind of developed that campaign, set it up whether it's Indiegogo, but because a lot of times if people are doing it, they're doing a film or a project, they've already like formulated, they've got the pictures, they've got, right, because if they're going to ask people for money, although, you know, I bet if we stood on a corner, I'd probably get more money. We could get more money if we stood on a corner for, if we stood on a corner for 10 days, we'd end up with more money than we're going to get out of crowdfunding. And you're going to have a lower, a shorter uh, reach on people than the people coming by. It's just whoever's right by. Right. Yeah. So, but, but I look a little sorry. No, so. it, it means that uh, that you know I, I'm a cynic and I I read the literature and the literature basically says the same thing that I always knew you. You okay? I'm figuring if you're gonna if one third of what you're going to get comes from family or friends. If you go to your family and friends, that's about all you're going to get to begin with if you directly go to them. Right. But the one thing it does is it gives you a way to organize your thoughts and give a direction for everybody to go to. Well, because so, there's flexible funding, there's fixed funding, all the different organizations, they do it a little bit different. But remember, they do take their percentage out, um, and... Then you still have to pay taxes on everything, so... Mm -hmm. I know. So we are in the stages of retooling what we're doing. So what are we going to do differently? Well, yeah, we've been doing daily vlogs about, oh yeah, this is day two, about what we're doing. We can write about crowdfunding, get more attention, but see, part of it is because we're reporters, we can't really tell them about our campaign. Can't tell you about the campaign. Right, because then that's, that comes from being a new it's story. It's unethical. Yeah, that's true. And it goes from being a story to being It becomes, an uh, basically, your advertis it's advertising you're no yourself. You're a journalist. Yeah, and we, do, we are card-carrying J people, so. Yeah. So part of it, we are in the process of retooling. We cannot tell you what the campaign is. There's no link to it on the website listed. That's the way it works, folks, because you're going to do this. Um, you're going to be objective. Oh. You cannot let people know who you are. Okay. Yeah, so did you hear that? So that's one of the things I get excited. So that's right. To be objective, we can't tell you who we are because so this doesn't really get... How can you... It, it's just the news this is the news portion. It is the news portion is... where we're legitimately trying to explain. We're, 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 we're basically putting an ungodly amount of work into something which some people have been successful at, but I have a suspicion that there's not a full database of the people that aren't successful. Yeah, but it does help you organize your thoughts, get it together. Maybe you'll meet some people later that can help you. But you know, part of it is, is it the best use of your time? Well, you're going to be finding out more because you'll be hearing about us reporting about crowdfunding.